This is our chapter plate tectonic where we try to understand the theory of plate tectonic given by Wagner Alfred Wagner and later on we see improvement on this theory his theories by the other scientists like the South African uh, geographer Alexander Dutoit etc so actually what is a plate tectonic theory and what does it mean Plate tectonic is just a scientific theory that describes a large scale motions of the earth's lithosphere that is the upper part of the earth crust how they move and what is the movement behind it It is the plate tectonic theory which describes the seismic activities of the earth the volcanisms and how the mountains and other kinds of landforms or other earth processes in terms of their structure and mechanical behavior of a small number of enormous rigid plates through to constitute the outer part of the planet that is the lithosphere so that's all we try to understand and the plate tectonic theories tell us the theory was given by alf the plate tectonic theory was given by a german scientist he was actually a metrologist in the year 1912 he proposed that throughout most of the geological time there was only one continental mass and that was pangaea millions of years ago on earth there was only one a huge planet on this planet there was only one continent and its name was pangaea on other hand the rest part of the earth which is the two third part of the earth it was covered with a water body or we can say that was the, there was only single ocean at that time and the name of that ocean was now according to alfred wagner because of the endogenic forces as we discussed here also seismic activities or the volcanic activities because of endogenic forces of the earth the upper part of the earth move from one place to another place let's first see the interior of the earth as you can see here in this diagram if we go inside the earth as we go inside the earth in the starting part that is in only in crust as we go in under the crust per 34 to 35 meter inside we go to crust the temperature goes 1 degree centigrade the earth interior part is like this this is the central part known as core it is too hot we divide core into two parts as you can see here this is the interior core or inner core on other hand this one is the outer core with red color the next part is the mantle now again mantle we divide into two parts this mantle this is the low inner mantle and this is the upper mantle part and the uppermost layer is the crust so this crust part is the lithospheric part land part is there the pangaea was here as we know earth is a made up of a series of the concentric rock zones the crust mantle and the core part let's one by one understand each part first is the crust beneath the sea five the crust is found beneath the sea as you can see here in this diagram that under the sea the crust part is found 5 km this is known as the oceanic crust and here is the continental crust if you see the continental crust somewhere it is under somewhere in the mountains interior part depth of the mountains it is extend to the depth of 70 km also this light gray and this dark gray and the light gray color is the lithospheric part here it is the continental crust known as continental crust and this is the oceanic crust this whole is a lithosphere known as a lithosphere 
as i said you that as we go downward the temperature increase please correct it that as we go downwards the temperature increased 1 degree centigrade per 34 to 35 meter now lithosphere which is the upper part of mantle to depth of 100 km as you can see here till here it is the lithosphere and then comes asthenosphere the depth between the 100 to 200 or 250 kilometers the mantle is partially molten here it is not exact molten but semi molten or the other word we can use is the semi molten type and capable to slow flow flowage this is known as asthenosphere uh, or we can say it is like plastic type so, so plastic asthenosphere and this is the part we, on this part lithosphere move from one place to another place in between on the mantle it is not move on the liquid magma its move or its flow on the plastic asthenosphere now why it move from one place to another place what is the reason behind it that we will discuss later as i was saying you that there was a huge planet Pangaea according to Wagner now this Pangaea was divided into many parts as you can see here in this picture also now why this was moved what was the reason behind it that is that we will discuss now uh, students it is universally accepted by earth scientists that part of the crust is capable of moving horizontally round the globe causing the continental slowly to change their position in relations to each other and this idea was originally synthesized under the term the term is that is the continental drift or the continental drift theory by Alfred Wagner in the year 1915 and he started his work because in the year 1912 so in some books we see the year 1912 also but the his theory comes in front of the world in the year 1915 because of any reason now what happened that this Pangaea divided into two parts maybe because of the as I was saying you that Alfred Wagner was a meteorologist so maybe possible that a meteorite comes here and because of this Pangaea uh, divided into two parts or because of the earthquake or any other reason it divided into two parts actually it was Alexander Dutoit in the year 1937 he was from South Africa who modified Alexander Wagner's hypothesis theories and suggesting the existence it is he who suggest, suggested the existence of the primordial continents the two continents that is the Laurasia and Gondwana upper part is the Laurasia part and downward part is the Gondwana part as I said you that according to the Wagner what he was saying that these are two plates when two plates comes towards each other this type of movement is known as convergent movement of the plates and because of this when two plates comes each other as you can see here that 
this is coming here and this is because of this that part raised up into as a mountain so because of this we see mountain create this mountain is known as fold mountain the himalaya is the best example of it for example it is asia and when india comes towards asia it goes under the asias and because of the tension created here uplift the sediments of the or the sedimentary rocks of the tethys sea and this is how a mountain created known as himalayas in the second type of movement is the just opposite of it when two plate goes just opposite of each other known as the divergent movement because of this divergent movement we see crack happen here as we also see here in the pangaea later on the crack become white and become a rift valley and when the crack become more white the water comes in it and filled it and this is how it become a sea the same thing happened here also the angara land and the gondwana land a crack happened here because of the divergent movement of the both the plates become wide and rift valley created here when it become more wide what was happened the water of the panthalasa comes in it and filled it and this is how we see the creation of tethys sea and this is how tethys sea comes in existence now the third and the last movement of the plates which we mainly see is the transform movement of the plates when the plate moves just parallel to each other when the plate moves just parallel to each other this because of this the land goes ups and down like this and it created fault mountains faults mountains like a mountain like this later on because of these three movements of the plate as you can see here in this diagram pangaea it was divided into many other parts this part goes this word side become north america this become south america antarctica africa oceania this is eurasia asia and europe as you can see here see it clearly uh, properly like this was a pangaea now the part moves like this this one goes towards the west direction north direction west it is not slowly slowly north directions and they all move their own own directions the next part is this one somewhere the shape comes here and here we can see the shape of present earth somewhere and now this is the present earth where we see this type of map here at that time this was the south pole now this is the southern pole the axis of the earth is also changed during the whole time period of last 200 million years and this also helps in the evidences of the vagueness that this, this thing happened the evidences were we will do in our next part of this chapter here the according to wagner what we see is the six major plates and 20 while some are saying 14 minor plates as you can see here the major plates are this is the north american plates it covers greenland and north american continent south american plates cover south american south american continent and the south atlantic oceans ocean crust it is the next plate here you can see african plate this is the eurasian plates australian indo australian plates the pacific plates so by this directions we can understand the movements of these plates that basically these plates moves on which which directions at present also the moving is going on but it is very slow that we cannot see ourselves or feel it this was the permian period terrace this was the terrestrial period then comes the jurassic period cretaceous period and this is the present day period this is how we see that how the according to wagner that actually there are the plates lithosphic plates which are moving from one place to another place known as the continental crust and oceanic crust and it moves in between the or lithosphere uh, this lithosphere moves on the upper mantle there is in between up lithosphere and upper mantle there is a plastic asthenosphere on which this lithospheric plates moves from one direction to another direction now why they are moving from one direction 
to another directions and how can we say that they are moving that we will do in next chapter next part of this chapter friends on my side i try my best to clear the theory of plate tectonic to all of you any kind of problem and doubt or you want to say anything i uh, it my pleasure and welcome please send your comment to me so that we can try to present our best to the world or you can visit to my blog also which is bipindogra.blogspot.in that's all in this first part thank you